and those are oat groats. Come on. <laughs> hey there, I'm Amanda. I'm a nutrition therapist, and today we're gonna talk about how to make oatmeal more digestible. Now, when you make oatmeal, you have to choose between oat groats, steel cut oats, rolled oats, and quick cut oats. And the only difference between those are their surface area, really, and how fast they can cook. Today we're gonna to use rolled oats because it's what most people have in their pantry already and is much faster to cook. We want to make sure that we are either soaking, sprouting, or fermenting our grains, nuts, and legumes because we want to neutralize any anti-nutrients that they may have. In the case of oats, they have a decent amount of phytic acid. Phytic acid can inhibit mineral absorption. It basically tricks that plant into thinking that it is going to germinate because those things are seeds, essentially. Before that seed is ready to grow into a plant, all of the nutrients that are in it are bound up with things like phytic acid. So this process of soaking and fermenting the oats will make it easier on your own digestion inside your stomach and also make those nutrients more available so that you can even absorb them to begin with. So for this really simple oatmeal recipe, we're gonna start with one cup of rolled oats, one cup of filtered water, and two tablespoons of a starter. Now we don't have kefir, whey, buttermilk, or yogurt at the house at the moment, but what we do have is a sourdough starter. So we're gonna use two tablespoons of a sourdough starter instead of cultured milk. To start with, we're gonna put the rolled oats in a bowl, add one cup of warm water, and then add two tablespoons of our sourdough starter. And then this is what our sourdough starter looks like. It's pretty bubbly. Try and get about two tablespoons worth. Kind of goopy, but that's okay. That's how this is. And then all you have to do is mix it in until it all dissolves. Stir, stir, stir. We wanna get it as much as we can in the liquid, but as long as the oats are soaking up that liquid, then it will ferment properly. And all I have to do is cover it with a clean tea towel, set it aside so that it's not disturbed for eight to 24 hours. And whenever you're ready to cook, come back. I'm gonna come back in 24 hours. It's much easier for me to do that. Right now we are ready to cook. We're gonna uncover it. Notice how it absorbed a lot of the water. That's okay. We are going to go ahead and transfer it into a pot that we can put on the stove. Still has a little bit of liquid from the first cup of water. Okay, so we're just gonna add one more cup of filtered water. And then it is optional, but I like to add salt. We use real salt. I love telling people about real salt. It's made in America. The only ingredient is ancient sea salt. If you can just kind of look at it, it's obviously a different color. It's got some little flecks in it, um, but we use about a quarter teaspoon. And all you have to do is get the pot on the heat, let it come up to a boil, and then once it's up to a boil, just turn it down to low and let it cook for two to three minutes. I don't have a lid for mine, so I just stand there and stir it because I don't want it to burn to the bottom. And once that's cooked, you just take it off the heat and basically dress it in any way that you would normally eat oatmeal. I like to add some sort of healthy fat to it, but we just put a heaping helping of butter in it. And sometimes I'll even add a little bit of raw milk, raw cream. It's a little bit more tangy than regular oatmeal. So you can absolutely use this in a savory recipe, super good with like eggs and bacon and maybe even some spices like some Southwest spices. Or you can obviously go the sweet route. You can add some banana, some berries, some honey, maple syrup. 
any of that to it, but it's basically oatmeal at this point. It's just a little bit more pre-digested for you. It's broken down a little bit more so that these um, vitamins and minerals can be liberated from those phytic acid compounds. And it's just a little easier on your stomach. It's a little tangy. It's so good.